As Gilgamesh, the greatest warrior to ever live, walks the earth with much anticipation in every step he makes. And as he walks the earth as king, he is judged by God as a peasant. Much sorrow and grief God has for Gilgamesh as he strays so far from God's image for man. God tests Gilgamesh by taking everything away from Gilgamesh. As a pure man would be humble and trust the process of the Lord, Gilgamesh became angered. Gilgamesh shouted to the sky, Why have you done so evil to me, only to push me to push you away. As God feared Gilgamesh, did not turn to the Lord for help, he resented it because his, of his pride as to prove a point to God. God deemed Gilgamesh was in denial, for you pushed me away, not because of my existence. Gilgamesh responded with extreme haste, knowing what the Lord says to be true. How dare you see through the eyes of judgment, for I am your creation. God ponders on this for a moment as this as if to relate to Gilgamesh as to what he feels. Gilgamesh explains to God that the world is corrupt and evil is everywhere. To walk on God's earth and not be ambushed by temptation is impossible, states Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh throughout his life has fought and killed his way to the top as only, as only to see God as a distraction while he was growing up. For Gilgamesh, never forgave his sins in hopes to prove himself strong and more powerful than God. As Gilgamesh stood alone but with nothing but resentment and anger, God felt pity for him, but still convinced Gilgamesh would fold. He gifted to Gilgamesh a present by growing a tree right before Gilgamesh's eyes. In amazement, Gilgamesh picked a singular fruit from the tree on the, that grew on the tree and ate a bit. In amazement, God sent Gilgamesh on the cosmic journey of the beginning of creation in hopes to open Gilgamesh's eyes to the importance of repentance and trust in the Lord as, the, as to the plan in which he has set forth for you at birth. Gilgamesh repented against his sins and in return the Lord restored everything Gilgamesh lost and set forth Gilgamesh on a new path that would better serve him and his kingdom.